it is time for the conclusion. Oh yeah. Mostly. Well. Hopefully. Episode 33, time for uh, the final battle. Uh, I'll show off some junk just because it makes me feel cool. Uh, <laughs> so here's my item stock. I have eight max mushrooms, which completely heal all HP to one character. Six royal syrups, which completely restore all FP. Nice. Four pick-me-ups, which revive a character, uh, which I should never have to use in case Peach, unless Peach somehow gets knocked out. It's like the fallback, just in case. Yeah. A red essence, which makes a character invincible for three turns. Cool. Kira Kira Colas, which are uh, full HP heals for the entire party. Rock Candy, which attacks all enemies from anywhere, from 200 to 300 HP. Let's hope for some freebies on that. Yep. And Crystallines of Power Blast, which are full party Geno Boost, basically. Cool. In terms of equipment, Mario is decked out with his Lazy Shell, Hero Shirt, and the Quartz Charm, which basically makes him an offensive wrecking machine. Peach has the Frying Pan, the Lazy Shell, and the Jinx Belt, which makes her um, invincible and extremely powerful at the same time, which is totally unfair. <laughs> and Gino gets the Star Gun, the Star Cape, and the Amulet, which isn't really quite the best um, accessory, but it boosts his offensive power, so that's good enough for me. And uh, that's, that's it, guys. Let's jump on this button and see what happens. I hope there's some random boss that you forgot about. Uh, I don't think so. I'm sorry. So we jump into the crane that has like a peppermint swirl on it. Aw, that's so cute. And we jump down the giant pipe. And here is Smithy. He looks like an evil Santa Claus. Aww. Hey, says Mallow. There's the last star piece. You can kind of see it underneath his epic right. flowing beard. It looks kind of small. Yeah, it looks like it's just part of his armor. Yeah. Huh? Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? All right, then. How about a little demonstration? He whacks his hammer. It looks like a maniacal blacksmith. Yeah. Every time he bashes his hammer, one of those little monsters pops out. And Gino, who is quite hood, by the way, says, Yo, <laughs> Smitty! Stop making those things and hand over the star piece. Now. now. Mario jumps in agreement. Agreement. Agreement isn't a word. Huh? Guffaw ha ha. Who laughs like that? <laughs> He's just like Santa. I thought Santa said ho ho ho. Well, you know. Santa with a cold. Oh, okay. That's that's acceptable. So you're Mario. I don't know why he pauses there. Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. And here comes Bowser. <laughs> Just hand it over and get out of my castle. My my, we're a little touchy today, aren't we? Bowser is very sensitive. Yeah, he is. We have learned that throughout this game. He writes poetry. You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. <laughs> Please, don't make us go through any more. Just give us the star. Now. When Peach says things, you should listen. She is a one-woman wrecking machine. <laughs> harumph. Better yet. There was another harumph, by the way. Yeah, there was. Why don't you give me your stars? Why, then I could easily conquer this world. Then we could get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons. Mario says, fuck that. And Smithy starts taunting, over here, now. There's a lot of nows here as well. There is a lot of uh, emphasis on that. I'll crush you all. Of course, all caps denotes anger and or loudness. Of course. So in we jump, and it is time for the battle with Smithy. He has some pretty unique attacks. Uh, that is one called Sledge, which That's awesome. a gigantic hammer just falls onto the party. So we're going to start off with 
a crystalline and a power blast. Get everyone set up to go. And you see the kind of like fishy looking thing over on the side? Mm -hmm. It's actually an enemy called <laughs> Smelter. And we, we want to take him out first because he allows Smitty to produce more enemies. And Got it's it. like add extra enemies to the battle. And right. we don't want that. Not at all. So let's take out Smelter as our first order of business. And he pukes out some jello? Gross. Play-doh? I don't know. And creates a shy guy who then uses sword rain, which does exactly what it says. And it rain rains swords. Yeah. They're sledging in. I like that one. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these animations are only shown in the final battle, which I kind of like. Like, a last boss should have unique attacks. Definitely. Things that just make you go like, yeah, I, I see why you're the final boss. I mean, even this this attack, it's kind of cool. Little mm -hmm. little sword rain, meteor swarm, which uh, I should put an epilepsy warning on this video because of that attack. <laughs> Oh, uh, Smelter has already been taken out, since we can't target him anymore. Oh, nice. And this little guy is called a Shiper, which is like a combination of Hyper and Shy Guy, I suppose. Or just Shy and Hyper. There's no guy involved. Nope. It's okay, though. Now that he's, wasn't hard. Yep, yeah, now he's dead and we'll heal up the party again. So Smelter cannot produce any more enemies. Correct. Now it's just Smithy and the party. So let's wail on him a bit, shall we? Sounds good. This Father Time looking, Santa Claus looking guy. He's frightening. He's like that evil Santa from Futurama. Yeah, evil Santa. Robot? Is it Robot Santa? What is it? Robot. It is Robot Santa, but he also is quite evil. He's evil. He's also there's also Quonsabot and uh, yeah. the Hanukkah zombie, <laughs> which going back on the Star Wars tangent, Hanukkah zombie is voiced by Luke Skywalker. Oh, I don't know. I why. think it will be okay. I think it will. And they can do so much cool stuff now. What's he gonna do? He just keeps doing Mega Drain over and over, which is kind of boring. And he keeps yeah. targeting Peach, and it does zero damage. Peach is just like, whatever. No problem, guy. And he is mad. He's, no. got, he's got steam coming out of his head. That's a problem. Here comes a little arrow. <laughs> it's named Arrow. Wow. Uh, Calm down, Smithy. Thanks for not disappointing me, Square Enix. Your head looks like a geyser. And Drillbit says, don't get so worked up. Think of your blood pressure. He has blood. Does he? Is he a cyborg? No, a cyborg would be yeah. not the same thing. Android? Maybe. I what am know. I looking for? Cyborg is part human, part... part uh, okay, then cyborg. Yeah. We just built this yesterday, and the foundation's very weak. So, stop shaking the floor! I wouldn't yell at my boss like that. And he says, how utterly annoying, and continues to pound the floor, and pretty much breaks it. Old man! <laughs> huh? What the... How in the heck? That is what I would say during an earthquake as well. Chestnuts? <laughs> Chestnuts! <laughs> Sweet Jesus! Sweet Jesus! Uh, the story behind that is we were at an amusement park, <laughs> and as someone who doesn't like roller coasters or has not been on one in years. I was attempting to voice my dismay, but there were <laughs> children around, and I did not want to use profanity. So around I, children. I uttered such choice things as chestnuts <laughs> and sweet cheeses, cheese balls. Yeah. Anyways. At least you didn't cry. That's I true. cried. Did you? I did cry. It was Aww. horrible. It was the first time I was ever on a roller coaster, and I hated every minute of it. 
I'm sorry. That it's all right. it was an experience <laughs> at least. And I thought the worst part was the tunnel that was dark. Uh, so and it <laughs> literally went all downhill from there. It did. Oh, it was awful. So Smithy is mad. He's saying no quite a bit. And look at how like foreboding this is. It, I, the little like demon things. I will admit, when I was little and I got to the end of this game, I was, like, legitimately frightened. I would imagine at so. At the screen. I was, like, I was terrified. <laughs> Isn't it, they, they look like, um, oh, aren't there Killer Tomatoes or something like that? Killer Tomatoes from space? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, even the language he's using, he said he's burning, seething, Never have I been so wrong. Like, <laughs> it's just kind of like a complete departure from everything else you've heard in the game. Yep. This is where you think for once something can go down that's big. Yeah. It says, and it's time. I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach you respect. He even gets, like, the, the badass villain monologue. Yeah. And I shall have my revenge. And, of course, another loud no as he starts beating the shit out of the ground. Again, when it, like, I was actually scared of this when I was little. I can, I can believe that and respect it. Look at him. <laughs> huh. Whoa. Come on, you puny ants. So, this is considered a new battle. So, we're going to throw down another crystalline and power blast. I like his googly eyes. Yeah. Uh, this fight, there actually is kind of a tiny bit of a gimmick to it. Uh, he changes the shape of his head. That's cool. Uh, he's got the tank head right now, which is like physical powerhouse. Okay. But we can also target his body. Huh. Which, it's kind of good to do. It only has a thousand HP. And it only takes out of the battle for, like, a limited amount of time. But anything that, like, you know, takes anything down that can damage help you output. Out. Yeah. So we get this little mis message where he says, Can't move. And his body's out of commission for now. It'll rejuvenate. Of course. So what is the real boss in this? His head? His head. Because the body okay. comes back. No matter how many times you beat it. Of course. And, I mean, the like I said, the tank head is, like, offensive powerhouse, and it does decent damage. I mean, mm -hmm. it did 9 HP of damage to Peach. That's, that's some serious business. It, it is. Hopefully we'll get to see at least two, uh, two uh, other shapes. What do we got here? That this would is, be fun. Uh, the wizard head. Cause Ooh. it looks, yeah, I mean, he's got the face Weird. down there, but up top it kind of looks like a, a dude wearing a robe. Yeah. So it's the magical powerhouse head. I'm actually going to heal up the other two guys because they don't have very good magic defense. I wonder how much HP he has. 8,000. Oh, 8,000? Yep. Which is more than, uh, you know, the secret boss. But the secret boss also had all those crystals. Yeah. So we get this message where he says, I am burning with power, and that's the signal that the body is alive again. That what? The body has been uh, rejuvenated. Uh. So we're going to take that out again real quick. It takes one round of attacks. It's yeah, it's worth not bad. It. So he says, can't move again, and there's Dark Star, which did a decent chunk to Gino there. Uh, well, that was disappointing. He just pulled out the wizard head again. I mean, I'm... Wow. I did almost a thousand HP that round alone with only Gino and Mario. So, uh, here's some more magic. Boulder. Definitely makes me think of Pokemon. Yeah, it does. Rock Slide. Or Rock Throw. <laughs> One of those two moves. 
when he has the wizard head going, Peach is pretty much on like full time healing duty, just because of the other guys. Right. Boulder again. I don't know if he can actually ever run out of FP, but I suppose we won't find out. Uh, this is the... I don't know what I would call this. The man in the iron mask head? Yeah, it's just, um... I can't figure it out. The hexagon head? Is it supposed to be like a welding mask? It's supposed to be the uh, defensive head. Oh, okay. I'm still doing like a decent chunk of damage to him. But the body came back, so I'll take that out again quickly. And there goes the body. Uh, Shredder, like I said, that move kind of sucks because it takes off any positive status effects you put on yourself. Okay. So I'm just going to toss those out there again. And actually, at this point, using the rock candy isn't worth it because our attacks do more than more than the rock, the rock candy. candy. Do. Yeah. I mean, the only benefit is that it would attack two pieces at the same time. Yeah. Uh, he just used Mega Recover, which is probably a sign that he's getting low on HP. But can't be sure. I haven't really been keeping track. So the body's back, but like I said, I'm pretty sure we're close to beating him. So I'm just going to keep wailing on him a little bit. And we'll see how that goes. Sounds good to me. And he just healed his body, which was kind of a dumb move. That was stupid. Here's the, the last one that we didn't see yet, the chest head. Which uh, basically just causes status effects. It's basically <coughs> the least harmful, least harmful one. Because I'm not too worried about status effects. <laughs> Peach can't be afflicted with any of them, and she can just heal the other guys. But of course. I mean, there it does some cool screen effects. Like that was the poison effect. That was fun. Which poisoned Gino and Mario, and Gino looks pretty cool in purple. Mario, not so much. <laughs> but we can just heal that up real quick. Look at that. Back to normal. Wait, why does he get to go again? That's not cool. And he got to go again because that was the body's turn, which I decided I didn't want to kill again. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a badass like that. Decided it was a waste of time. Of course. So he just shoots a bullet out there. And heads back to the wizard head. Should be getting close. Come on, Smitty. I don't have that much HP. I'm doing like a thousand around. There we go. Whoa! That is his sound of anguish, I suppose. It is. <laughs> My body and head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it. I'm finished. Done for. Whoa, no! <laughs> and explosions. Fireworks! Woohoo! That didn't take as long as I thought it would. So no, I expected it to be a lot harder. We were considering uh, chopping up the last fight and the ending, but we're just going to let it go, I think. Sounds good. Gino says, come on, Mario. Send the last one way up high. That's, enough, that's an interesting point. Where the hell are the star pieces? Didn't they go back up to, like, uh... The star road? Yeah. Well, this is it. This is our seventh star. Nice. We got it. We defeated Smithy and got the last star piece. That means that we beat the game. And, uh, you guys made it through with us. What an epic journey. But it's not all right. Ah, uh, well, look. <laughs> First time no, for everything, okay. Journey. And there's all seven. But they decide that they want to change colors and do so. And down they come.
Thank you, everyone. The Star Road is back to normal, and... Can he go back to being a doll again? Well, the doll doesn't... I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a spirit. The doll is just a doll. Oh. You got it backwards, Megan. <laughs> I forgot about that part. It was so long ago. It was. Look at the look at the stars surrounding him. He's just basking. He is. Look how happy he is. He's so excited. I'd get dizzy. And the beam of light surrounds him. Scotty is beaming him up. There he goes. Farewell, friends. I love that Mario sprite. It's the only time you see it in the entire game. <laughs> it's his what the fuck? <laughs> and there's the real Gino. He goes over everyone's head real quick. And says later, bros. Peace. Off he goes. The, <laughs> the star pieces go, decide to go back to the star piece menu for a little bit before floating up into the sky. Why is the yellow star so important? I don't know. Is that like subtle race intonations? <laughs> So, I don't know if that's supposed to be Gino or the fixed Star Road, but yeah. he's chilling over Bowser's Keep, and the sword fades away, and the foreboding red sky turns blue again. Look at that. And Bowser's Keep actually looks a little cheerful. Just a bit. Just a tiny bit. So now, we get to see the repaired Star Road, which... Frankenstar. Which doesn't look much like a road at all. But uh, each star does a little spin rooney And we get a little epilogue for everyone. There's Mallow with his parents. And the people down there are doing the wave. <laughs> Power has been restored. Yep. And I guess that's an expression of joy on his face. Or he's about to cry. Or that. They're, runs, they're well. on top of clouds. How can it rain there. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, down on the ground. So the green star does its little spin and we see Bowser with his Koopa Troop repairing his right work. The Shy Guy's flying the little thing from Super Mario World. The orange star spins around. Who do we see this time? It's Johnny. Oh. Chilling and staring at the sunset. I like him. He should have been a playable character. He should, should have. have. He should have joined our party. The purple star, the most meh amount of effort star ever. Uh, there's Yoshi and Croco. I guess they're buddies now. Look at the happy flowers that have hatched. The, I guess we, we'll call this Indigo. Indigo Star. <laughs> the, blue, <laughs> the blue one was the first one, I can't. Yoshi? What? <laughs> Toad of Sky. Aww, Toad of Sky. He's got his new music class going. There's and we were not there. Nope. Well, we plagiarized everything, so. True, you know. true. The Red Star. Who haven't we seen yet? Um, oh, look! It's Booster and Valentina getting married. Aww. And he Where's is, the cake? He is still... He's like running in terror. Dodo's just like, alright guys, whatever. <laughs> Why am I still here? And the final star... Wow. That is not flattering at all. That's weird. I guess that's supposed to look cool, but it's a little more terrifying. It is. Mario winks, because he's creepy. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. And what an ominous way to end the game. Hey, look, it's Luigi! Oh, we missed him. That is the only sighting of Luigi in this entire game. 
but he's leading the parade. And that's it. And the credits roll. You got the the toads, one's playing the tuba, one's playing the trumpet. There's Toad of Sky conducting on top. Huh. And the the little drummer toads. There's the royal bus with uh, Mallow and his parents. Mm-hmm. And Frog Who didn't seem to care at all that he went off on a journey after they were reunited. Not at all. They were just like, whatever. It's It's cool. Well, oh yeah, it's okay. You can go and, and carry on with your journey. We'll just pretend you don't exist again. Again. There is the moles of Moleville carrying a giant lit bomb <laughs> that Dinah and Might are chilling on top of. Bowser's keep is somehow being just dragged along by a couple of chomps. Video game physics. Yes. There's Croco and a bandit. I guess he's looting there. And Bowser's pissed about it. There he goes. <laughs> but, wow, Dodo is gigantic. Huh. He's carrying Valentina on her thing. That's okay. It was her wedding day. Yeah. She tossed up some balloons. And she punches him. What a jerk. Here's a train. That booster is on. I do like trains. <laughs> what about if Buster is on the train? Uh, that'd be a little creepy. I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much then. You don't think so? Nah. There go the snippets with uh, Croco swag and Booster is riding the thing. Bowser is chasing after them, and also being chased by a ton of beetles. Cause Did we fight any beetles? No, they were just kind of there. He has an affinity for them, I suppose. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot we were chasing after that one. Well, the Shy Guys were, right? Yeah. So there's the Shy Guys, there's Mac, Yuridovich, and Bowyer, even though they're dead. Mm-hmm. There's Smithy riding the blade, even though he's dead. I guess this is supposed to be more like a, uh... Um... What am I trying to think of? Just like a show of the cast? Like, don't worry guys, it was all a show. No one's really dead. Right. Because it's a Mario game. Nothing's allowed to die. No. There's Johnny on his pirate ship that is being propelled by squid tentacles. Weird. But it, it's getting dark. Nice. That is quite the ship now. That is... I, like, I, I, I don't feel like... Though. Oh my god, the toad's heads are glowing. Oh. That doesn't seem safe. I wonder what they've been ingesting. Or healthy. Well, they're already fungus. <laughs> true, true. There's a giant growing mushroom. Like, what is the... How do they feel about things like that? I don't know. If they're mushrooms... Like, they're... And their head is being floated across? Yeah. There's a flower. I mean... Okay. The flower has eyes. More glowing toad heads. Yoshi's there. I I guess that's supposed to be the Chancellor, because, like, who, who else would get the special privilege of riding Yoshi, I guess? Yoshi's back. Yeah. I don't know, it doesn't look like the Chancellor. We can't see his mustache. If yeah, we could see the, the mustache, thing. we'd know. And there's the star, which Mario and Toadstool are riding. And they saved all of the stars. And there's Gino. Hey, guy. Bye, Gino. Farewell, friends. It's and been real. Yeah, now the camera pans upward just a little bit. Slowly. Maybe it'll go faster once Mario and Toadstool are out of frame. Nope, just some fireworks. Fireworks are acceptable, though. You can't have the end of a 
of, a, of a, an, ep an epic level with a castle without fireworks. That's true. That has been a thing in Mario, hasn't it? Yep. Fireworks. Oh, okay, there's no flagpole. No, but, I mean, fireworks. It's acceptable. I agree. And we get a big firework that turns into a mushroom. There's actually a thing behind that. If I would bought more fireworks from that mole guy, mm -hmm. um, if I bought them like three times, it'd turn into a flower. If I bought them five times, it'd be a star. Nice. But, you know, I don't particularly care. <laughs> They're just fireworks. Yeah. So Gino's flying up through the heavens. And there's Frankenstar, as we... It's all repaired. Yep. And Gino says, the end. Well, that was nice. That That's it. That is actually the end. I'm okay with that. Aside from that weird postcard-looking photo with yeah, Mario that and was, Yoshi and Peach. That was creepy. But aside from that, that was a nice ending. It was. Not too bad. And that's the game. That's, that's it. And it does the, the square thing where, you know, at the end of the game, you can't do anything, it just plays the music. In this case, the Mario theme. In most Final Fantasy games, it was, of course, the Final Fantasy music. Of course. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Mario yeah, RPG is uh, done with. It's all over. It's the end of an era. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Yeah, and that you was can, our... You can, you can play it over again, and yeah. again. You can, like I said, you can, you can watch the whole thing over again. Like, seriously, start from the beginning, and listen yeah. to how terrible the audio quality is. Listen to how <laughs> awful I am. See our progression from awful to, you know, somewhat okay. Yeah, like, the first episode is terrible. I'm just, I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm nervous. The audio quality is terrible. I, you know, even the video quality kind of sucks because I forgot. I didn't know how to do that whole thing. So like the first ten seconds of the video are gray and choppy. Yeah. Second episode sucks. Third episode gets way better because Megan starts talking. Well, I mean that's just the addition of me. But it, yeah, but that makes it like a hundred times better. And and you can see dinosaur mess up a lot. Yeah, but. Uh, you, as you watch the progression, we just get better. And well, you know, some of us get better. Some of us stay the same. <laughs> but, wow, that that just, like, killed anything I was trying to say. Ouch. <laughs> I think that's a no, proper way to end well. this. I think, I think, you know, it, we definitely improved throughout this entire thing. We did. And, and if you rewatch all of the videos, you'll see that. Yeah. And... Or maybe we just think, you know, better <laughs> of ourselves. Yeah, but, I mean, this this was just the start. There will be many more things to come. This is true. It's only the beginning of us annoying you. Exactly. <laughs> so don't think you're getting out of it. Nope. But, I mean, that's that's it for this one. Super Mario RPG is done, so... This On is, to bigger and better things. Yep. So this is Dinosaur signing off on this one. Farewell, friends. You'll see us again. Someday. A better place, a better time. Better games. Hey. It's <laughs> a good game. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna cut it. Bye, guys. Bye.